vision bonus. You're not going to give me a roof vision bonus? I think I just got a little tiny bit. Yeah, give me a little bit. Electronic shop. <laughs> it's funny, you can see other roofs in the area. Alright, stop running. No, don't let him don't let him hit that, please. Stop running. Can I stay ahead of him? Yes I can. Whoa, that's not good. Start running. Ah, oh, crap. We left a cloud in the doorway north of me there. <laughs> and I know there's a crowd of zombies out to the right. Um, But I wouldn't be able to drag this thing through the window anyway. Don't mind me, crowd of zombies. Oh, I got a lot of them coming after me. Dang it. We're down two bars of stamina. Hmm. Uh, they... I don't remember if a single point will pop those guys. By the time I saw him, he was too close, though. And five range isn't going to be enough. I'd need to get the range bigger, longer, in order to uh, pop that guy and not get uh, the gas cloud on me anyway. Hey there, poison guy. Oh, I don't have my damn... <laughs> I don't have the crowbar again. Alright, let's leave this here. Go back to walk mode. We'll just walk our way out into the field here. Once I know there's only one or two guys going to come after me, I can... Uh, I can deal. Alright, we'll just let them poison me. Um. Yeah, there's no, there's no point. <laughs> All right, so we're poisoned, but we're not badly poisoned. That was a nice knockback. Two space knockback. Ruger thirty-eight, huh? No thanks. Bandages. All right, now we're gonna go back and try to get my welding. Yeah, I probably should have waited until I had my stamina back. Ah, number one priority. Get back up to the base with this thing. And <laughs> tough zombie in my way. I guess I am going off in the wrong direction there. I love these zombies that are just racing around just below the, uh, the, the mansion area. I mean, we've seen zombies racing up this way. We've seen zombies racing across this way now. <laughs> but I, I never see any of the animals that they're supposedly chasing. They're just running flat out in some weird direction a lot of times. It is odd. Whiff, whiff. Alright, let's leave this up here for now. Uh, let's, let's leave it there. All right. Perfect condition welding cart. Not much battery charge in it. That's not a big deal. We can uh, we can take care of that. And we know where a full strength storage battery is. We just have to get it out of there. It's sitting right here. 
along with the uh, the bottle jack and the steel jerry can that would let me fix up that SWAT truck. And with the welding kit and the uh, storage battery, I would um, I need some mechanic skill to get them installed. So we might end up having to do the uh, mechanics shuffle. Since for some somehow I still don't have under the hood. <laughs> Alright, wood axe is still in good shape. Oh my cargo pants are about to go. Alright, let's make another trip down. That went okay. Oh look, moderate pain already. Uh, let's take a useless painkiller. Hey there, Tramadol. Supposedly a moderate painkiller. Bullcrap. Not under the current rules. Uh, Alright, so we've got the chemistry station. I'll probably rip that out and leave it here. And we'll drive the van, the mobile meth lab, down to the SWAT truck. With the bottle jack. I need the bottle jack. Swap the wheels out, drive the van back. And we can mod it however we want to from there. That presumes I get that other stuff out of that other location. And again, I think the best way to do that is to actually drive a currently working vehicle down and park it here. And then work my way in to grab those items and pull them back out again at night. That's going to be a little tough to do. I would do it with this mobile meth lab, but it's got no gas. I don't need a lot of gas, but I need some gas. Some not diesel type gas. Hmm. I didn't really get to see if there's anything else in there. I didn't look around real closely, but... Um, I think I'm going to mark that one off. Why is it um, backpacks, sling packs, messenger bags? Why is all that stuff always full strength, but all of the other clothing is trash? damage wise all the carry capacity stuff is almost always full but um, oddly everything else is complete trash Hmm. Well, we're starting to accumulate the stuff I need. We go... Oh, it depends on the circumstances. Which of those would be scarier? Totally depends on which circumstances. I think the Hulk would still edge out a bio-operator. Mostly because of the speed. Hulks are pretty damn hard to stay ahead of if you're trying to move away from them. Or maneuver. But uh, I've been killed plenty of times by bio-operators in inopportune moments as well. So, um, Day 5. Got the welding carts. Wasn't too tough a run in and out of there. I still want to. I, I just got to keep pulling myself back, going into dangerous areas in moderate pain with lowered stats and lowered dodge and so on. I just. I got to stop myself from doing it constantly. We're already down to 4.6. But the more time I spend, the more mutations we're going to have and other issues.
2.30 p.m. Let's take the uh, let's take the RV for a drive. Let's drive down to see if we can get a clear spot over here. See if there's any chance I can work my way in to get that stuff out of there in the daylight hours. I think there's going to be just too many zombies, and that's going to have to be a, a nighttime thing. But let's check. We got plenty of diesel. And the vehicle's in perfect shape. Well, right up until now when I start running stuff over it is anyway. Everybody say hi to the fungal flowers. Hi, fungal flowers. Hey, big, big old pile of zombies, including a shack zombie. An owlbear. Oh, the owlbear's running around again. Hey, owlbear. You, you done killing all the local zombies? Vodka. Uh, not much I care about. Don't hitchhike, owlbear. Hitchhiking's for losers. Alright. Not too bad a zombie presence here. I guess this is where rollerblades would kind of help out if I was going in a non-combat run. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can do it. I'll try to clear my way in there, even with my lowered stats, combat abilities. Rain is going to help. That'll cut down on the visibility. Uh oh. Alright, Al Bear. <laughs> don't be messing with me. I don't know the detection range for Al Bears. So, house and then garage out on the south side here. Gotta remember to bring the damn crowbar or make a new one. have a PB and J sandwich. Veggie pizzas. Now well, there's the garage. Alright. I am not gonna be able to carry some of this stuff out. Give me that, give me that, give me that and that. I know we had another of the major ones there. And the bottle back. Alright, so theoretically this is what I want. No way I can carry it all. I don't think I can carry any of it actually. Can I even get the torch? I can get the torch. And that's probably it. A small welding tank. Oh, I can actually get the bottle jack. Oh, I can't get the bottle jack. 12.8. Oh, that's just barely over. What can I leave? Leave the pizzas. Uh, it says we're overweight. I don't want to leave the pizzas. Hmm. I don't have a lot of choice. 
All right, so let's uh, just drag this stuff up to the window, then shuffle it from there to there. Drag it to the next window. Shuffle it from there to there. I guess I should check the bathroom. Got everything. It's just a matter of slow dragging it back to the vehicle. But it looks like we got it safely. Damn, Albear, are you in the road? You're in the road. <laughs> Damn it, Korg. <laughs> you and your Albears. <laughs> He's being pesky. And stop hauling things. <laughs> I think he's... God, I hope he's going after that tough zombie way down south, but that means he can probably detect me. And yeah, we got to back way off. What is going on over there? Oh, he's chasing a duck! <laughs> Albear is chasing the duck, which is going to lead him to the... Uh, hopefully the tough zombie down there. <laughs> I'm just going to watch him keep running, make sure we, he stays running south. If he gets just a little further, I'll be comfortable dragging my stuff back up to the road. I think he just caught up with the duck. Now he's fighting the zombie. That's not going to take him long. Yep, zombie's dead. Whoa! Alright, now he's having some fun. Albear, you need to go get revenge on that shock zombie. Well, I... Try to get out of here. Did that Albear just die? Boyer's buddy. Ooh, Boyer's buddy. Yeah, Albear's dead. Ah, oh, Albear must have gotten hit by other things. Now the shock zombie got him. Well, that's unfortunate for the Albear. Um, I need to make a note. Boyers, buddy. I do have a longbow, so I want to be a little cautious. Might try doing some uh, bow type action. All right, well, I'm a little surprised that we actually got out of here with all that stuff. So, welding tank, welding tank. That's a good amount of welding supplies. The bottle jack, the storage battery, and that's going to be too much. All right, jerry can we're going to have to put elsewhere. Let's just drop it on a chair. Hmm. Go butcher the owlbear for uh, 80 pounds of meat <laughs> with zero skill and zero knife. Well, I guess I have a steak knife. That'll work. I don't know where the shock zombie went. Oh, look. It's the mysterious rope supply and a first aid kit. Uh, let's drop some other stuff while we're here. Inventory to there. Oh yeah, I've still got that acetylene torch. All right, so you were hiding a first aid kit underneath the uh, the free rope. Not sure. All right, shock zombie. 
you're going to be a little too close. I think I'm going to end up having to take out the shock zombie. Which is going to suck. We're going to get hit. But we're about to go back and heal up for the day anyway. Yeah, I think he's going to be just in range. I might be able to stay ahead of him. Alright, so we got Boyer's buddy. I guess we'll grab yet another rucksack while we're here. Uh, we actually managed to get out of there. The the rain helped us. No bug no no owlbear meat for us. So, hmm. look at that. That's now empty of anything useful. We got an eyeball on a fire station. Ooh, I would like to get into a fire station, but the front's going to be on this street, which is likely to be pretty crowded. Let's see what we can do it, though. Chance at a fire axe and a halligan bar and turnout gear. Give it a try. Alright, so if we go... Actually, if we go house to house... I'm really starting to get annoyed at my not having my crowbar with me. <laughs> Apparently I didn't check this. Oh, this is the southern one. Biodiesel book. We'll take biodiesel. I'm going to leave the food items, I think. Ooh, except a gallon jug of milk. That's going to be too much. Now, of course, I find all the stuff. Is that a thermal electric... Or a uh, electric balaclava? Yes, it is. Thermal electric balaclava. Hey, a windbreaker. Come on, garage. Ah, here we go again. <laughs> um, come on, wood axe. Cement mixer and a wood saw. Uh, I actually need a wood saw if I'm going to craft anything like a tool belt later. Um, hmm. Got some interesting parts in there. Now that I don't have to make, I don't have to go down the uh, the welder line. I don't have to worry about grabbing heating elements or all that stuff. It does to a limited degree, but if I'm going to actually craft a survivor tool belt, for example, you have to have a wood saw. I don't know if the is a firearm kit. I don't remember if the firearm kit has that. So it has one wood sawing. Uh, provides a hacksaw, but it doesn't provide a wood saw. But again, I'm going light. I don't have much carry capacity. I can take that. I guess we'll leave the rest. So this is not the basement I checked earlier. Whoa. Hey there, guys. Well, it's a possible uh, autodoc basement. I would like to know, but that means I'm going to have to kill half a dozen zombies, it looks like. Um... Damn it. Torso shot, torso shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
And another one. Erg. Three hits from that guy. Here goes my pain again. so simple and then you're down two bars of torso health and your pain is up and your stamina is down and it's gonna be for nothing vodka <laughs> yeah let's take the cotton balls and so Nope, no auto dot. I agree. <laughs> I need, uh, I do need to do that. Naturally. Um. Oh, I know part of the problem. I'm, I'm wearing the Mossberg instead of, uh, Carrick. Excuse me, carrying it. That's dropping my uh, my dodge a bit. So we just need to go house to house. I got no windows on this wall. <laughs> so many zombies in the basements nowadays. Oh, computer science 101! That'll get us computer science to six. That gets it to a usable number. So, I'm gonna try to dance my way in and out of here, just grabbing that book. They're gonna move to my last known position. So now I'm gonna flash the light over here so they see me this direction instead. And we'll turn it off again. And we'll try to meet these guys this way. Alright. That's, uh, that's three pretty good books. Boyer's Buddy, Computer Science 101, and Biodiesel. So even if we don't manage to get anything out of where we're going... Hmm. I want full bandages. Um, goodbye, tortilla chips. Yeah, can't afford to pick up any more food. Alright, where are we at? So we got one more house, and then we've got the fire station. Hey, zombie. I'll meet you right here in the window. Damn it! <laughs> there go my cargo pants, and I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Ugh! <laughs> That's so irritating! Uh, hmm. Nothing I can do about it for the moment. And a gunsmith basement. <laughs> well, I guess we'd be coming back here anyway. Camera. 
backpack. If I don't get hit, I can wear the backpack and get my stuff out of here. <laughs> wear a filthy backpack. Penetrator rounds. Actually, I'd like to take the camera. Don't care. 22 rat shot. Um, jeez, look at that. 180 rounds of 22. I never take the time to sit there and fire off that stuff to raise my rifle skill. Wow. All right. I guess there's not much reason to actually come back down here after all. Bipod. No thanks. Too situational. Nah, I don't have a favorite yet. Still in development. Lots of changes happening pretty fast. I've only played one or two of them, and I haven't gotten terribly, terribly far in any of them yet. The general challenges are just too hard already. Um, I think that was yes. That, that for sure. That's the only things I dropped. Gotta remember, I am using, or I've got a filthy backpack on. I have got to toss that on the ground before I start fighting. Otherwise, I'm in for a world of hurt. Hey there, bunch of zombies. And firefighter zombie. <laughs> Alright, starting right now. Come on, you. That was a big knockback. Giving me what I want. PBA mask. Yeah, let's see here. Go there to there. PBA mask. pick up. Yeah, I guess it is too big to pick up. Activate. Oxygen tank. Drop. Oxygen tank. trying to decide do I want to leave stuff here then try to get to the uh, ambulance and hmm getting into the fire station is going to be the hard part actually is that a back door is this the alternate fire station version I'm not sure I can get in there oh another fireman come here firemans come down here Firemans, come down here! Come on, 
one fireman's oh he's gonna go through that fence dang you fireman's you're making me there you go come on all right what do we got everybody pulped still not giving me what i want Another PBA helmet, perfect knee pads. We'll try to take those. What else? Really? That's it? Fire axe! Alright, we got one of them. We got one of the items I was hoping for. Ah, uh, poor flame resistant suit. I was hoping to get a flame resistant suit in good condition also. Utility vest. Alright. I don't remember. Fire Axe is 2020 plus one at 139 versus. Uh oh, we damaged it. 1812 plus one, 140. Yep, fire. Oh, wait. Wait. Brutal sweep and block. Brutal sweep and block. All right, so those are the same. Twenty twenty plus one one thirty nine. All right, let's go with that. Now we got a backup. Too much stuff to carry unless I grab another backpack, probably. Um, but oh damn it! A lot of zombies. Oh, it is open. Holy mackerel! All right, that might make my life a lot easier. Too many hittings and grabbings. All right, firemen's. Grappling hook. I don't need a grappling hook. I am already a flyer. Another suit, but in pretty bad condition. Noise canceling, PDA. Eh. Um, apparently nothing in the wreckage here. <laughs> Another acetylene torch and two more welding tanks. That was what I was expecting. No fire trucks, no fire trucks. There we go. Flame resistant suit. Perfect condition. Poor fit. We can eventually fix that if I can keep it from getting shredded. And that's it. Oh, that sucks. And we still didn't get a Halligan bar. I'm going to throw that on. Don't care. Alright, unfortunately, that is it. Well, we got a couple of things off my list. I guess I can't be too unhappy. Now the question is, can I get this stuff out of here? Just barely not enough. Um, I could leave the axe. Let's leave the knee pads. Everything else I got. Alright. It's damaged PBA, unfortunately. 
So we got really important books. We got PBA we can clean up. We got a uh, thermoelectric balaclava. We got the fire suit. Uh, we got the gloves and socks that we can repair up and clean. The fire axe, some ammo. Yeah, it's okay. So, done, 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 done. Ah, I'm not even going to bother mentioning the acetylene. We've already got more than enough. Um, we're up to distracting pain and half torso health. 1100 mana. We're at max mana because our intelligence is down. Let's, uh, let's do the old bless spam. Artificially heal here because we're big cheater faces. I don't suppose you work, solar vehicle. No, you do not. Two cargo spaces are. Eh, that one's got a little bit of space. Ammo can go in there. Sort all that stuff out later. <laughs> uh, good job, zombie. Good job. I need to get my mech. How do we not have under the hood yet? I can get the mech too easily. Two to three, I think I'm going to have to fiddle with the vehicles if I can't get the book. Do we have enough that we can sit at home and get some stuff done for a bit? Go computers to six, but that's only limited usefulness. It's only really useful if I go into a lab. Um, we get the fab skill up, we've got the goggles, we've got the tongs, but I'd have to go through the whole Trying to decide if there's anything else I want to try to get to while I'm out here. I think I better just not push my luck any further. We've had a pretty successful run to grab all this stuff. Let's uh, let's head back to base. Let's gotta curb my my enthusiasm for getting myself hurt. Ah, hmm. uh, look, another owl bear. <laughs> so many owl bears wandering around all of a sudden. Oh yeah, <laughs> that up here is going to get messed up. Let's see how many he takes out though. Let's stop and watch the fun. Oh, he leveled the vehicle out here. Alright, shock blast, shock blast. Owl bear is going to kill itself trying to melee the, uh, the shock zombies. Moderately injured, lightly injured. Owl bear apparently can't hit shock zombies. Who would have thunk? Yeah, Al Bear down. He didn't touch the shock zombies. 
That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure he started lightly injured, so... I don't know. That seems a little weird that uh, he just flat out can't even touch shock zombies. But let's get out of here before we get their attention. Multiple big crowds of zombies roaming around. Just stay away from my mansion, all you crowds of zombies. I mean it. Stay away. Gears on the wrong side, that's fine. Alright, drop backpack before I get myself in trouble. Yeah, nobody else close. because I unloaded all that stuff. Let's, let's go get some backpacks. Clean ones. Yeah, keep forgetting. I have wings! Just dive out the window. Alright, give me... I don't need any of the weaponry up there. Oh, that's right, I forgot I had the bat. Could have been using the bat for a while. Don't need the bottle jack upstairs. Move that. That. Storage battery. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, cause bear scrolls. One of these days I have to remember to use those things. I would like to cause a bear. Alright, so we got some of the gear. Let's pull out storage battery. Bottle jack. That combo is going to let me... Oh, I need lift capacity to install the storage battery. Hmm. But I don't need that. All right. Uh, put that back in. Need the bottle jack to pull the wheels off, get the wheels replaced. I don't remember what else is going on with that SWAT truck. Might need something more than just the bottle jack. Mighty inconvenient little base thing I'm trying to do here.
trip to the pool. got all sorts of backups lots of backpacks lots of rucksacks Debating running down in the uh, the vehicle to um, get it close to this the van. I've only got 0.3 gas. What else would I possibly need? Not sure. Let's let's do it though. And again, why didn't I just dive out the window? I don't know. Alright, so I got the bottle jack. That'll let us drive over there. Pull the tires off of this vehicle. Then start to reinstall them on the SWAT truck. I think it had everything else to drive, but I couldn't check the motor. I think it was dark when I was over there. See if we can even get this thing over there before we run out of gas. It's going to be close. All right, well, the answer is yes. We got it there. Now we got more zombies again. I don't think they've spotted me. Let's try to keep it that way. All right, you. Uh, the one thing, <laughs> the one thing that's going to prevent me from doing this. I've got anything that's going to let me raise my electronics another level. Unless I've got a recipe that'll do it. Electronics 4. Amplifier circuits, wires, nails, and planks. 7 minutes. Hmm, good old EMP grenades will do it. Anything simple. Nope, nothing simple. That would be a lot of computers to get enough amplifier circuits for that. Wires aren't that hard. Planks are easy. Nails are easy. So I could do it if I had to. Or I could stock up on EMP grenades. String, scrap, copper wire. It had to be the immobilizer. Alright, well I can't do anything about the immobilizer right now. Don't need the bottle jack. Don't need the chemistry station right now. So we're just going to leave this here. 
I'll have to think about how we're going to deal with that. Mech 2 I can get easy. Electronics, I need one level of electronics. If I can get electronics 5, we can deal with a portion of this. Catching up to me. Oh, that's why he's catching up to me. All that chili effect. All that unreported speed negatives. Because it's not showing the chill effect up here anymore. And it really, it's another thing that annoys me. Why? Why is that not showing up there? And why do I have chill effects on all... Oh, it's because of the damn chemical imbalance. That's what's going on. All right, chemical imbalance. Minus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. <laughs> 22 minus speed because of the chemical imbalance deciding that I am chilly. <laughs> Plus the negative from the pain. So that's why my speed is so bad right now. I couldn't figure out why this guy was catching me. Now I know why. Uh-oh. I got no filthy stuff on, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, another one of those stupid all of a sudden I get hammered for no reason zombies so irritating tiny bit more torso encumbrance than usual terrible dodge Pain 17%. And now a shock zombie's in my way. Lovely. I'm moving slow and got a shock zombie in my face. Uh-oh. I got a fair size herd up there. Just out of range of my building, it looks like. That's not good. <laughs> and we got these zombies running around, sprinting to nowhere. And more zombies have moved in while I've been away. Grr. Those, those zombies over here are still sprinting their way north, right up to join these other guys. Hey there, attack! Happy Friday to you, too! And here comes another randomly running zombie. Hey, firefighter, who's just running this way for no reason. He didn't detect me earlier, not with the rain. Now he's running straight at me. <laughs> uh, how many windows are they going to break? What do you think? Three? Everyone? Come on, hop in there. Turnout gear, PBA mask, eh, nothing useful. Nothing too useful. Alright, we made it back in without getting must. I'll just continue to let them roll around and do their, their weird ass movements out in the field there. With the chill and the pain, I can't deal with it. Eh, chill's gone, so yay. I need to take another look at my um, my carry my gear I'm I'm using because my my uh, dodge is in the trash again. I think that's all from the pain, for the most part. Okay, two ninety, huh? <laughs> uh. Four forty-seven. All right, what do we got? Nothing that's going to raise electronics, just like I thought. Nothing that's going to get me to mechanics three. I can get myself to mechanics two, and then we're going to have to do some vehicle fiddling, fill in the gap after that. And yeah, not much has really changed here. I need to bootstrap myself to Fab 3, and then Fab takes off. Gotta get myself to Mechanics 3 before it takes off. Got no electronics. Yeah, those are wings. 
We got the wings. So I've been jumping out of the second floor window here pretty often. It's pretty cool. I need to get my, my dodge back though. This pain management, I tell ya. It's affecting me more than everything else. Alright, let's uh let's get a fire going. Let's have some nice warm water. Whoops, I'm slaked. Never mind. I don't need warm water. Let's have um, some candy with our sweet tooth. And we're overweight. All right, let's do, well, all right, let's look at this again. Any new recipes pop on? Hopefully not the antenna. <laughs> I don't think anything has changed here. No, nope, still the same list. So either make a boatload of EMP grenades after I get my my morale back up, my focus back up, or could use the electro hack to try to get into the lab. Too many things. This one really just takes uh, amplifier circuits and wires. Problem is going to be getting enough amplifier circuits. I don't think there's enough. I keep losing my map memory here in the uh, the mansion, but I don't think there's enough computers in here to give me enough amplifier parts. And my focus is way way down as usual. All right, let's. Um, Let's see, reset, P3. Let's um, reload the morale enhancement device. Activate. Morale me! Alright, we got music and some other things causing us to be pretty happy. Let's walk around a bit. I'm gonna go try to find some computers to disassemble in the mansion here. I don't remember which rooms had computers. I hate having the map memory disappear on me. There we go. Ah, gotta have the light. That's <laughs> so annoying. All right, amplifier circuits, copper wire. Oops, forgot to bring along carry capacity. Next, I'm going to have to go find some wire. Alright, nothing's going to be in that internal area. Zombie. Yeah, 
Yeah, I figured there weren't going to be a lot of computers in here. Light does go far enough. Just barely. And not in this one. Ah, only two that time. Ah, I know there's some downstairs as, or in the basement as well, but we'll use what we got first. Man, focus is still low. We're just a generally unhappy kind of guy, apparently. Pretty much everything wore off. Um, overweight still. I don't want to keep eating foods for the bonus. Turn that off. 653. How many did we get? Uh, need wire. Otherwise, I have enough for 13. If I can somehow get my, if I can sleep first, get my morale back into the positive, then do everything I can to pump my morale and focus, I might be able to get Electronics 5 with that. The alternative is EMP grenades. All I need is solder, but I haven't found any big old bundles of solder, so I'd have to actually disassemble electronics components for solder, which would be a pain in the butt. I'd have enough. I'd need more copper wire, too. I'd rather do EMP grenades. <clears throat> but I haven't. Solder's going to be a problem. And charges in the soldering iron, of course. That's not too bad, though. That's only 60, 120 or so battery power. Um, so... We did see an electronics store right there. Dare I try to make a run to the electronics store? Good chance of solder and other gear there. I think uh, I'm willing to try it. Uh, sun's about to go down. Hmm. I think I might give it a go. No, I can't. I can't afford to do it right now. Too much pain still. Let's uh, let's leave all the backpacks up here so I can grab them again quickly when I need them. We're just going to have to read for a bit and then sleep. I'm debating if I want to flip my day-night cycle again. And we still haven't considered going back to the north.
Not much on the south side of this city. We have to get all the way back to the north side to get to that bookstore and the library. And multiple... Yeah, electronic store right on the nameplate again. Hmm. Let me take a quick break. Uh, about four hours in, so let me do that. Get kind of reset. Get some more water. Crack open the cookie jug. That'll give me some uh, give me some moral certitude and uh, energy, so I can keep pushing through this. Um, I'm definitely having to pull back earlier than I like for the melee combat stuff. But um, it's all the pain. Just pain. Everything else I can have, I have no problem dealing with and adjusting to. But that pain is still bugging the hell out of me. So, it'll still bother me when I get back. See you guys in just a few minutes. <laughs> 